I'm Ty Quinones and right now on your 13 Action News update, 13 investigates going one on one with Nevada's Attorney General regarding claims of voter fraud, despite a lack of evidence from Nevada Republicans and also the Trump campaign. Uh, there has been no evidence uh, presented to my office in the complaint or frankly otherwise uh, that gives rise to me giving an opportunity, having an opportunity to investigate uh, voter fraud. Now. Well, Attorney General Aaron Ford telling the 13 Action News that widespread voter fraud does not exist in Nevada. He also says that COVID-19 protocols and signature matching are two reasons why it is taking so long to count ballots. An update from Clark County Registrar Joe Gloria is expected tomorrow morning. Well, it could take until 2023 for the hotel industry to recover from the economic struggles brought on by the pandemic. A report from S&P states that solid recovery will only happen if a vaccine is widely available by the second half of next year. The CEO of Best Western Hotels recently telling CNN that he needs a new round of stimulus funding to help keep his business afloat. And according to the S&P, 25% of U.S. hotels are at risk of foreclosure. Tuesday's high of 57 degrees came in more than 10 degrees below the seasonal average, but we do continue the warming trend into the rest of the week. Not before a very cold start to your Wednesday morning, though. Expect temperatures in the upper 30s to start the day by midday in the mid 50s, with our highs finally making it back to the low 60s for your Veterans Day. Mostly sunny skies, but a few clouds moving in by tomorrow night. The warming trend continues into the end of the week, mid 60s for Thursday and Friday, upper 60s, which is more seasonal for this time of year this weekend. It looks like highs make it back to the low 70s by the start of next week. Yeah, weekend looks good. That was your 13 Action News Update.